Hey, Marty James here. Just left the fly shop. Uh, wanted to show you this, this video of my trip to Southwest Florida near Matt Lache, uh, fly fishing this fall. Didn't end all that well. Matter of fact, it didn't end great at all. Cut, the trip was cut short when we uh, got kind of stupid in the boat. So, um, just hope you enjoy the video. You know, it's okay to laugh. Right? Even though at the time it was pretty serious, we you know, spent a little time in the water. Um, but you know, right now you are on my uh, business uh, YouTube page, uh, Martin James CPA Tax Jitsu. And, and I'd encourage you to subscribe to it. Uh, you might find some tidbits of information that might be able to add a little bit of uh, extra cash in your pocket. And uh, bolster your fishing budget. Every fall, my brother and I go to Matt Lachey, Florida to fish for a week. Uh, this story has nothing to do with uh, Ginus being dangerous. They uh, are a great boat, uh, but you just can't be stupid, which you're about to see. Some days the weather's really good, and you can run, uh, catch a lot of fish, and enjoy the scenery. But other days, we have clouds and storms and such that, we're, that you're dodging and trying to make the most of your fishing week. So here we were on a Tuesday night at 5 o'clock. I just hooked a, a tarpon on a topwater gurgler. I saw the fish roll on it and knew it was a good fish. I never got a jump out of it. Started off on one side of the boat, came all the way around to the front. Uh, my brother actually raised the, the electric trolling motor as it was coming around. The fish uh, then was heading towards the mangrove, so we were about 70 feet off of, and then all of a sudden darted towards the back of the boat, wrapped the fly line around the lower unit of the motor, And at this point, we're trying to figure out what to do. So, uh, first mistake was not getting the rod tip in the water as low as possible when the fish took off that direction. The other was I should have just handed the rod to my brother. Uh, my brother has actually raised the micro anchor at this point. He's raising the lower unit. And now he climbs up on top of the polling platform. To reach around and grab the fly line and try to free it. At this point he's pretty much head first and I'm thinking he's going to go in at any time but uh, he was really wanting me to, to land this fish so he kept going uh, and actually got the fly line almost loose Then he asks me to feed him some line, more line. At that point he does have it, you know, fairly loose. The fish is still on. Now he has me step around a little bit. And now he needs me to come around a little bit more on this side of it. And when this happens, we capsize. We had our PFDs on, the, the inflatable ones, and if you've ever heard a CO2 cartridge go off underwater, uh, it's, it's a diff different experience. That's my fly rod in front of the GoPro. So the sheriff department actually came out to get us after a 911 call and at the same time we had four young fishermen come in and help us salvage the boat took us back to the boat ramp and we finished our trip <laughs>